here in the metro, there are so many people feeling the effects of gun violence. We spoke with a local family physician about the long-term physical and emotional toll it can take. I saw this far coming from a gun. It went bang, 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 bang. A disabled woman in the line of fire thought she was hearing firecrackers outside her window. Then it went bang, 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 bang again. I fell in my wheelchair and hit the floor. She hit the floor because someone was firing a barrage of bullets. It happened late Monday night on Willie Crump Lane in the town of Edward. According to the police chief, officers recovered more than 60 shell casings from the crime scene. One of the rounds struck and killed 21-year-old De'Aaron Carter, while he and four of the people sat in a car parked near the Edwards Head Start. A bullet hole and shattered glass from a door at a house near the shooting. Anybody got a child, don't want their child to get killed. Anybody. Why I come up in a little quiet neighborhood like this and start shooting it up? The violence in Edwards, along with the deadly shooting in Jackson earlier this month on Flag Chapel Road, the left Quintavious McCray dead, comes as the U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murtha is sounding the alarm. In recent years, over the last decade or two, this problem has been worsening. For the first time ever, the Surgeon General issued an advisory declaring gun violence in America a public health crisis. And we have now reached the point where gun violence is the leading cause of death among kids and teens the leading cause of death. That is something that we should never take uh, as the new normal. I think Dr. Murthy is, is absolutely spot on. The physical effects, uh, there's, so, there's so many physical and also emotional, mental ramifications associated with it. Jackson family medical physician, Dr. Michael Bookhart tells us how gun violence affects victims' physical health. You can also see spikes in blood pressure, uh, changes in people's appetite, uh, their sleep-wake cycle, and also their memory. Dr. Bookhart says some people who survive a shooting can become so emotionally scarred they may be afraid to leave their home. That they don't even want to go out to the, the, the grocery store. They don't, uh, let alone places, that, to social places and, and places to have fun. They're nervous going to the gas station where there's there's been significant spikes in gun violence. And think about this, every year in America, nearly 50,000 people are killed by guns. Just a few years ago, Congress allocated modest funding to begin to study the impacts of gun violence. The Surgeon General says he hopes that Congress, that this his advisory will take this issue out of the realm of politics and allow members of Congress and experts to focus on solutions to reduce the impact of violence on people all across the country. And, of course, right here in the Metro. For now, we're live in South Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT.